Perfect. Everybody, thank you so much for being on time. Today, we are going to continue our series. This is part two, where we are featuring the Real Estate Innovator Award uh, recipients from Inman. And today, we have two different companies. I'm going to be going over Hello Alex, and we're going to be going over My Planet. And so Hello Alex, that's uh, very similar to something else we've covered in the past. It's an automated assistant that helps you with converting your leads. Uh, the past ones we did, it was a real person. This one is fully automated. So the, there's a big price difference. And uh, so we're going to go over that program. And then we're also going to be covering My Planet, which is a really unique app. I don't know of anything else on the market like this, where um, it kind of syncs all of the data MLS directly on your phone and your calendar. So when you're showing properties, um, you can just pull up a map and it shows you all the listings around, all the price changes, all the sold. Um, you can make notes with your clients. You can collaborate. So it's very much an in-the-field type of tool when you're making notes on the properties and that sort of thing. So what I've done is I pre-recorded these two sessions, and I'm going to hit play on the video. And then at the end, you can answer, ask any questions that you have. So let's get started with the first one. Hey Dave, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I'm really excited for you to share with us what uh, Hello Alex is all about. And uh, you guys are part of the Inman Innovator Awards in the technology space. So can you just share with us what it is that uh, this product and service does and how it helps real estate agents? Absolutely. Hey, thanks so much for having me on here. Um, Hello Alex basically helps real estate agents say hello. Uh, we have designed an automated income assistant which is artificial intelligence specifically designed for real estate agents to start conversations with their leads 24 hours a day, seven days a week in less than two minutes, and then begin to uh, market to them automatically online and offline. And I'm happy to go in a little bit more detail of how this may uh, look in your business and what we look and give you a little glimpse behind the curtain, if you will. Sure. Yeah. It sounds exciting because I know lead follow up um, and lead response is two really big pain points. So, yeah, huge. Um, so as you see here, you know, hello, Alex, helping real estate agents say hello. That's, uh, that's Lisa. We have turned her into what we like to call an awesome agent. Um, my goal is to show you how realistic it is to become the agent you've always wanted to be by the end of this year. You know, have you ever wondered what it would feel like to not constantly feel overwhelmed, like you're always behind and there's never enough time? That'd be pretty freaking cool, right? I know a lot yeah. of real estate agents that uh, deal with that on a daily basis. All hands go up. Yeah, all hands, exactly. So our purpose at uh, Hello Alex is to give real estate agents a cost-effective assistant that will positively impact their ability to give their clients a better home buying and selling experience. Um, so I think everybody's kind of on, on the board to do that. A um, little bit about me, I know you, you introduced me a little bit. Um, I don't wanna waste much time about myself and I'm not saying any of this to brag or boast. Uh, my goal in life is to help people share their awesome and overcome the obstacles that are preventing them from fulfilling the dreams that they truly desire. Uh, so my goal is to help you get your time back, make the money you want to make and have a better quality of life. So that's uh, kind of why I jumped into real estate. I've been in, in and around real estate for the last decade and I've seen the struggles um, that you guys have dealt with on a daily basis. And when we started looking at the technology that we had developed and we started looking at some of the statistics that came out of the real estate industry, it was, it was quite alarming um, that there weren't more options or opportunities or tools to help you guys deal with this. And what am I talking about? Last year, about $8 billion were spent on leads. And this is from sources like Zillow, Realtor.com, Truly, and all those different places. There was $8 billion spent on real estate leads for agents. Here's the scary part. 50% of those leads were never contacted one time. So right off the bat, you wasted $4 billion. So you're buying more leads than you need because uh, you're not even getting around to work to some of them. Um, and the other, another fact is 50% of the 50% that were called were only called one time. And here's another thing. The average response time for most agents is 44 hours. I so I could drive from here in Tampa, Florida, uh, all the way up to <laughs> Seattle, Washington, and about the time it takes the average real estate agent to respond. And some people are like, oh, no, I'm way better than that. Oh, I call it right away. Well, do you always? 
And if you think about it on, and you're answering that honestly, the answer is no, right? What happens if you're in a closing? What happens if you're in a training? What happens if it's 2 a.m. in the morning and you're sleeping, right? I don't know about you, but I know consumers reach out when they're ready to talk, not necessarily when it's convenient for you. Um, and the reason lead, lead response time matters, you know, we've heard a lot of talk of this in a world where we have information at our fingertips, being the first person to connect with a new lead can drastically impact your ability to convert them. Now notice I actually said the first person to connect, not the first person to call. There's a major difference. Uh, being first is not as important as you think. I know every so-called guru out there preaches speed to lead, speed to lead. You have to call a new lead in less than five minutes if you want any chance of closing it. Well, they're only about 3% right. I say 3% because a 3% closing conversion is actually considered good for leads from sources uh, like Zillow and Truly and Realtor.com. So that means while everyone is fighting over the 3%, no one is focused on the 97%. So let's talk some numbers that they don't want you to see, because I want to show you, you probably already have the leads you need to scale your business. 40% of leads convert with long-term follow-up. Yes. The average lead that comes in. Sorry, go ahead. No, to all, man, so much. Like people give up on the first lead, but most people aren't ready to buy until eight months, six, 12 months. Even a lot of our leads were like two years in the funnel. Oh my God. I, I, that is, that is literally my next point is the average time that these leads come in. The average time is six to 12 months before they're ready to buy your list. But yet everything that these, you know, a lot of these coaches out there, and that's what I love about what you're coaching uh, to, to your clients, Dan, is you kind of, you kind of see that that's not the case. Like while it is important to get in front of them, being first is not as important as showing up often. Um, and it, like expired listings, 75% of expired listings relist in 60 to 90 days. But yet, let me tell you my personal story about expired listings and, and let this sink in. So I decided not to sell my house. So we pulled it off the market. Within the first 72 hours, I got 107 phone calls from real estate agents telling me how awesome they were and how my last agent sucked and why they could have sold my house um, and the other one didn't not knowing that it was my choice to pull it off the market, but I had 107 people trying to get me to relist with them. So I wanna give you a visual on this. Envision Black Friday when the doors are locked and they finally open the doors and this rush crowd just rushes in the doors and you've got this poor employee who had to unlock the doors getting trampled on. That's your client with those 107 phone calls in the first 72 hours, guys. That's not how we behave as humans. Think of it like this. They just got out of a bad relationship and you're asking them to go on a date. Listings of expired listings happen in 60 to 90 days. So the average close rate on those sources is 3%. That means 97% were not ready to buy. Here's the problem. And you, you already touched on this. Most agents are so focused on the new leads coming in that they stop trying to call after the other leads after one week and they have no long-term marketing in place. And guys know a drip email campaign doesn't count. That's a whole different story <laughs> for a different day, but that doesn't count. Dan, you got something on that? <laughs> yeah, well, it's just a piece of it. They're like that's the easy button that hardly works. Yeah, so what can you do, right? I, we, I talked about what the problems are. What can you do? Well, guys, what you could do is you stop fighting everyone over the measly 3%. Um, you know, focus on the 97. Engage and nurture leads for long term, six to 12 months. Use multiple touch points, both online and offline. This is important. People learn three different ways. They learn by seeing, hearing, and doing. And so if you're not touching all of those things, online and offline, and I'm talking everything from Facebook retargeting and online things like that and emails to offline like postcards and newsletters and ringless voicemails and things like that, you're going to increase your chances of the opportunity of being in front of that person. And you gotta automate it. You gotta automate your marketing because guess what? You shouldn't be the one doing this. Um, and two, if you're trying to do this, you're gonna be taken away from a lot of the stuff that you should be doing and that's sitting down at kitchen tables with people. So if you know that the proper follow-up of 40% of your leads will be closing in the next 12 months, what does that mean? If you properly followed up with your leads, 40% of your leads would be closing in the next 12 months. Imagine if you only had 10 leads a year. What, an extra four, what would an extra four deals this year mean to you? What if you had an extra 100 leads? Or what if you had 1,000 leads? How would that change your life? Now imagine if you didn't have to be the one calling them. 
So tell me if you can relate to these stories. Um, we work with a lot of agents and, and these are pretty normal stories. I want you to meet Lisa. Uh, she's an awesome agent who struggles with never having enough time. Again, all the hands go up, right? Leads always seem to be coming in at the wrong time for her. Just like you, Lisa has a million things to do every day. She has a day busy full of meetings, which often run late, which leaves her rushing across town, always feeling behind. She does her best to return all the phone calls, emails, and texts in between appointments, but she loses deals by not responding in real time, like losing a $600,000 listing because she didn't respond within five minutes. Lisa's always feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, and stressed because she can't keep up. Lisa knew there had to be a better way. Now I want to introduce you to Frank. Frank struggles with lead guilt. Uh, lead guilt is not being able to manage leads in real time from multiple sources, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Lead guilt seems like you're always missing the important phone calls. Lead guilt has never been able to connect with your leads in real time, resulting in you losing deals to less qualified agents. Both Lisa and Frank were frustrated, overwhelmed, and stressed. They were desperate to find a better way, and that's when they discovered Hello Alex, our automated income assistant, which helps them communicate in real time, 24 hours a day. Hello Alex gives you the ability to win the battle over lead guilt, to no longer be stressed when leads come in, and the ability to manage your connections and conversations on autopilot 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and to finally have the freedom to enjoy life. Become the agent you've always wanted to be with Hello Alex. So guys, how do we solve it? Well, real simple. We help real estate agents say hello. Our automated income assistant uses conversational artificial intelligence to start conversations with your clients and your leads 24 hours a day, seven days a week in less than two minutes. Alex will be there any time of day to qualify your new leads, answer questions, even set appointments for you for buyers and sellers whenever and whenever they want in real time. So whether it's 2 a.m. in the morning and you're sleeping or it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon and you're sleeping, okay, just kidding, um, your automated income assistant is there to engage and nurture with your clients. Then after starting the conversation, Alex will begin to market to your leads, both online and offline, automatically, depending on the different stages of the conversation. This I got a question. Like, sorry? I got a question for you. These lead yeah, sources, yeah. I can see a screenshot on the left is, um, uh, what is that? It's a Facebook Messenger. So is it Facebook only leads that come through Facebook Messenger, or is it other sources of where the leads come from? Great question, you're stealing on my thunder. Um, we are very unique in that we offer cross-channel or omni-channel communication. Uh, so we can actually have that conversation through uh, Facebook Messenger, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, text message, email, live chat on your website. Uh, so we can actually engage with them in all those different right places. On. And one of the coolest things about that is it's a continuation of the conversation, which doesn't happen now. Um, human behavior, like I said, we're human behavior and engagement specialists. Um, human behavior is now that you and I have met, I wouldn't come up and reintroduce myself to you every time we see each other from here on out. But yet that is how technology that we have works. If somebody texts you and then they go to your website and you have a live chat thing that pops up, guess what? It doesn't continue the conversation you just had in text. It mm -hmm. starts a whole new one over. Yeah. That's the difference with Alex and our artificial intelligence is it just continues the conversation regardless of what device or wherever you're engaging with us. That's so you cool. may be on Facebook and start it and then you go over to your landing page and the, the live chat on your website is us and then you may be texting with us a few hours later and it's just a continuation of the conversation. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I was just curious on that. Okay, go forward. Yeah, so that's really so that's, that's how we help you start more conversations, make more commissions, or make more connections and earn more commissions. So we like to think of it as instead of paying somebody $3,000 a month to reply to emails, chats, text messages, set appointments, send postcards, letters, mail, post social media ads for eight hours a day, who gets tired, gets sick, has bad days, asks for time off, we'll do it for $2.99 a month. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We don't take sick days, we don't take vacation, we don't have breaks, and we don't have bad days. Um, <laughs> The cost for work hour is, is just, there's a massive difference, right? There are 1.4 million real estate agents in the United States, but only 3% of them have an assistant. Think about that. 1.4 million agents, but only 47,000 have assistants. We think it's time that changed. Remember, our purpose is to give real estate agents a cost-effective assistant that will positively impact their ability to give their clients a better home buying and selling experience. And at 41 cents an hour, We've made that possible. So how are we different? This kind of goes into uh, the question you asked earlier. Um, 
you know, we actually have artificial intelligence. A lot of people, sometimes it's easier just to say chatbot, um, but we are actual artificial intelligence. So we're always getting smarter. Um, the difference with a chatbot is it couldn't answer questions about a property, but if you asked our AI questions about a property, it would be able to tell you how many beds, how many bathrooms, how many square footage, um, all that stuff. So you can help make our AI smarter the more information you have about your property that are loaded into our system. Um, so the conversational data, it's actually conversational. It's a back and forth where chatbots are just, think of it as a very linear thing where it just oh. goes down this line of questioning. They make, they make you look so stupid because it's like so black and white and the, com the person on the other end isn't, they think they're having a normal conversation. So they'll, they'll like throw a curveball and your chatbot, it doesn't have that like in alignment. So it's like so black and white. Right, and so that's something that we've had to do with artificial intelligence is we've had to in small, uh, install a small chat uh, engine. So if, if our AI doesn't understand a question or a response, or if somebody just goes out in left field like, hey, I like pizza, you know, our AI can be like, hey, I like pizza too, but let's get talk back to talking about this property. Um, and it always tries to drive the conversation back where if you did that with a chat bot, it would just like the whole conversation would be shut down. Oh, yeah. So the cross-channel communication, that is bar none one of the coolest things, uh, the ability to talk to people whenever and wherever they want in real time. Because I know people that only talk through Facebook Messenger. I know people that only use text message. They don't want to talk on the phone. And through uh, back to the data point on this, 73% of the clients that we've talked to, not real estate agents, but home buyers and home sellers, when they start the process, the reason they go to places like Zillow and Realtor.com and fill out that information is they're trying to hide behind a keyboard. They're trying to hide behind a smartphone. They don't want a phone call. And that's why that conversion is so low is they would rather engage through text, through instant chat, through email, through places like that because they're just starting the conversation. But yet everything in real estate is call them, call them, call them, call them right now. And I know some gurus out there are talking about double tap. Call them. If they don't answer, pick up and call them right back. Well, I don't know about you, Dan, but I'll tell you, the only people that double tap my phone are my mom and my wife, and it's because they really need something. Uh, so if I had a real estate agent double tap my phone and I found out it was a real estate agent when I picked up the second time, you want to talk about human behavior. Like you just put a brick wall up between you and that person. You've created an unnecessary issue. Um, and then our engagement marketing service. This is another thing that really sets us apart is we, we, with Alex, what we talked about earlier is the 3%, right? We can have that 3% instant conversation, that speed to lead, if you will. But we know that the 97% of your leads need long-term follow-up. 40% will close in the next 12 months with good long-term follow-up. So that's where our engagement marketing services come in. We will actually um, continue to engage them long-term through different series of campaigns. And we'll get a little bit more into that later. So what sets us apart still um, I like to put up some of our competition up here. Some of these people you may have heard just to clarify red X's are bad. Check marks are good. Um, <laughs> you can see had a, I've had people thought it was the other way, but I just like to clarify that statement. Um, from a price point, we're already below the market on the price point. Um, and that is because we are artificial intelligence. So we can offer you a more advanced service at a lesser price because I basically have a computer do it and I have to pay for server space where companies like Get Riley, who actually just went belly up, by the way, um, I need to remove this because they went out of business. Um, Agentology, they hire live US based people. So it's very expensive um, and it's very hard for them to grow and it's very hard for you to grow with them. And Ooh. so, the other part too is we offer unlimited leads. We don't care. You got a thousand leads, you got 10,000 leads, put them in. We don't nickel and dime you for the amount of leads that you put in the system and that you want us to work. We'll have unlimited AI conversations on those leads as well, uh, where a lot of our competition limit you to a number of leads. And then that's where they, so they're all, they're already priced higher. And then you have more leads. You may have a base price with some of these people of $1,500 plus a month just for the base service. Um, Right now we're working on multiple languages. Uh, we're gonna be able to uh, take this internationally as well. So right now we are in, uh, I'll clarify, we are in the continental United States uh, and we only speak English. We are finishing our Spanish uh, version of the AI right now. By the end of the year, we wanna have eight languages so we can move on to uh, Canada, Mexico, France, Germany, and Australia. 
um, or some of our larger plays, our AI will automatically do Facebook retargeting. So depending on where they're at, it can automatically post the Facebook retargeting ads for you without you having to do anything. Well, you'll already work in Canada because it is already US, uh, English. The only part in Canada is there's a small chunk of French, but it's such a small market, you, you wouldn't even really need. Yeah, the only thing that limits us in Canada right now is the direct mail pieces uh, because of the way the postal system works. But other than that, all the other parts of the platform would work in Canada right now. Right, yeah. So, um, so basically what's possible right now, what you're doing, working leads without Alex, a lead comes in, um, for most of you, nothing happens. This is where the average response time of 44 hours is a new, on a new lead is why it is. Uh, some of you set up a CRM and they get an email, maybe they get a text message if they're lucky and then nothing. Then for the others, you're paying out the wazoo, uh, for an expensive ISA to call these leads. You know, it's confusing. There's multiple lead sources, clients responding on all different platforms, you know, the stress of never being able to keep up. And this is what you're dealing with right now. Um, and clients expect you to reach out when it's convenient for them, not for you. They expect you to be on demand. I've never seen an industry where the expectation of somebody to be available when they want them is crazy. Um, I, I feel for the real estate agents, and this is another reason why we, we went to the real estate market first with our technology. Hmm. So, What's possible with Alex when that happens? So that same lead notification comes in. Now it activates Alex. And here's what can happen. Immediately a ringless voicemail from you goes out to them. Hey, this is Dave with XYZ Realty. Got your information uh, across here that you're interested in the property. I'm currently busy at the moment, but I'm going to have my assistant Alex reach out to you, get a little bit of information, and I'll be in touch real soon. Look forward to talking to you then. Probably before they've hung up, from that voicemail, Alex has already reached out to him on any channel communication that we have for him. We'll begin to engage them in conversation, actually qualifying the lead, asking them the questions of you trying to buy, sell, rent, how many beds, how many baths, what's causing you to move, you know, work, school, all these different things. We're going to go through qualifying them down to setting an appointment because we integrate with your Calendly and Gmail so we can see what you have available and actually schedule an appointment for you based on your availability in your calendar and you didn't have to do a thing, and this is 24 hours a day. Here's what's really cool, if that wasn't awesome enough, our AI works in the background seamlessly. When we get information, we can actually verify it in the background. So when I get a lead across, when I start that conversation, I can run that phone number through my data series, a proprietary blend of AI data, and extract other information. I can generally get about 150 points of information from a phone number, like home mailing address, date of birth, net worth, um, all those things. So the second I get a home mailing address, the AI will automatically send a postcard from you out to that person and, and be in their doorstep in about three to five days. I'll do the same thing with an email address. And so about 70% of the time they've used that email address to so, uh, create their social profiles. So if I, as soon as I get their Facebook ID, the AI will put up a Facebook retargeting ad. So in a matter of a few minutes, when that lead comes in 24 hours a day, they've heard from you, the real estate agent, um, through the ringless voicemail, they've engaged in conversation with your assistant who's qualified the lead and set an appointment in your calendar for you to talk to them. You don't just have a lead with a name, phone number, and email anymore. You actually have a client profile with all sorts of information. You've got a postcard from you going out to them that's going to be there in a few days, and you're already Facebook retargeting them on Facebook. So you have an unfair advantage uh, over the other agents that are going to be talking to them because we've made you omnipresent or everywhere. That's a crazy amount of value in a matter of minutes. Yeah, and it's and it's all seamless and on autopilot. And guess what? You didn't have to do a thing uh, once we get it set up. So you never have to waste time on unqualified leads again. Um, and we're automatically focused on that. Now, one thing that you had said uh, that you thought was really cool was kind of our birthday campaign. Well, everything that I've talked about up to this point has basically just been for new leads that come in. Well, let's be honest. Let's all raise our hands again because I know the answer is yes. Um, most real estate agents don't do a good job of post-close follow-up. Um, so I call that client abandonment. They kind of do all this work to get them to the closing table, they get the commission check, and then you just abandon them from there. And no, setting up on an email drip campaign doesn't count. Um, so just one campaign that we do is the birthday campaign. About a week before their birthday, uh, the AI will realize that, send a postcard from you out to them, 
be in their doorstep about the time of their birthday. A few days before their birthday, we'll put up a Facebook retargeting ad from you to them, just wishing them happy birthday. Then on their birthday, they'll get a Facebook message and a ringless voicemail from you wishing them happy birthday. That can happen for every client on every birthday, every anniversary, every holiday, and you didn't have to do a thing. Uh, so that keeps you positioned in front of your previous clients long-term, uh, which ultimately is gonna help you get not only repeat business, but more referrals, because we all love referrals. The birthday message on, on Facebook, so it's not a post on their wall, it's an actual like sponsored ad, but it's only targeting them? Correct. Uh, so that's the Facebook retargeting, and then on their birthday, they'll get a Facebook message in their Facebook Messenger. Oh, or, you could, it, or you could do it as a text message. Yeah, yeah. oh wow, cool. Yeah, the options are endless. We just I'm just giving you a, an example of what could happen. If you want something else to happen. Oh, man, um, doing, yeah. doing the text message would go above and beyond because most people on their birthday, like for me, on my birthday, I'll get hundreds and hundreds of birthday messages on my Facebook. I might get a couple text messages and I'll get like three phone calls. Like the number of people on Facebook. So if you can get your birthday message off of Facebook, it's cool that you can do it through Facebook, but definitely if you could do it through the text message, it's like now you're one of the five people who did it. And so you're talking about why what, what you call is engagement marketing versus broadcast marketing. Um, and so that's why in just this campaign, we had a series of online and offline touches because yeah. while the Facebook messenger alone may not be powerful, you've also retargeted them you're probably the only person that they'll see as an ad wishing them happy birthday. You've yeah. sent them a, a ringless voicemail and you send them a postcard. So they're going to get a postcard in the mailbox and you're probably the only person to do that. Um, so yeah. I guarantee you're the only person to do all of it. Cool. That's and, cool. and that's real client engagement, right? So that's kind of what we do. You know, if you're ready to add your assistant, if you're ready to stop feeling frustrated, overwhelmed and stressed, um, you can add your automated income assistant. All I need you to do is visit helloalex.io and schedule your free demo. Um, some of you still might be thinking, is this right for me? Well, answer me these questions. Um, are you serious about growing your business and not just talking about it? Are you ready to make 2018 the year? Are you looking to increase your commissions for you and your team? Are you currently buying leads? Um, or do you have a list of previous clients or old leads that you'd like to re-engage? Are you looking to automate more of your business and are you willing to invest three to $500 a month on your business? Um, and if you answered yes to those, then you would probably be a great fit for our automated income assistant. And all you got to do is schedule your demo at, again, helloalex.io. Again, helloalex.io. Um, what are other agents saying? You know, I've got Emmerich who said, you know, after he implemented this, my agents saw results quickly from leads being contacted immediately, practically in real time. Uh, this also led to more showings, meetings, listings, and ultimately more commissions. And then we've got Christina. She said, hello, Alex, changed that. Uh, now I know who to speak with, when to speak with them, and that they actually want to speak with me. Um, with Hello, Alex, you'll be able to consistently stay in front of your potential clients, positioning you as the agent to work with, no longer abandon previous clients, and have multiple online and offline automated marketing touches uh, in your business. And guys, if all this did was give you more free time with your family, would it be worth it? If all this did was help you feel less frustrated, overwhelmed, and stressed, would it be worth it? And if all this did was give you two to three more closings per year, would it be worth it? So become the agent you've always wanted to be. Get started. Schedule your demo at helloalex.io. And that's all I got, and I'll open it up for any questions that you have, Dan, that we didn't get to cover and any final thoughts that you have, because I know we went a little over on time. No, that's cool, man. Uh, well, and with good reason, because you had a lot to cover. This is... A really, really amazing service. Now, you, you probably see why we were uh, nominated by Inman as the uh, a finalist, you know, in the most innovative technology in real estate for 2018. Yeah, totally. Um, n now, like, what's a, what's a good spread? So agents who are making a certain number, um, anybody who's like in 100,000 to 300,000 category, like, they're, they're a no-brainer, no right? Um, yeah, so really, you know, Hello Alex is we want to be able to give the everyday agent the ability to add an assistant for 41 cents an hour. Um, and then we also want to be able to work with brokerages, brokerage um, team leaders that be, want to be able to provide a solution to their team 
um, that they're buying leads for that maybe the leads aren't getting covered. Yeah. So we're probably not a great fit for brand new agents just starting out. Um, you probably don't have the lead volume or the previous client list or the former list where you would necessarily need an assistant yet. Uh, you got plenty of, plenty of work still to do. We're for the agent who has got, you know, a decent amount of business coming in and it doesn't matter time. Cause I've seen guys hit a million dollars in two years. Um, so time is agnostic of, of what it is, but yeah, somebody that's starting to make a little bit of money, that's looking to grow their business. Uh, that's maybe has got into that trap of they're struggling to grow their business because they're stuck doing everything. Um, and, and rather than spend, you know, they, they don't have $10,000 a month to hire somebody and do marketing. You know, maybe they've got 500 to a thousand dollars a month to be able to do some marketing. We're perfect for them. Um, we're also perfect for, like I said, on the other end of that, the people that are spending $10,000 a month, um, uh, because if you remember when I started, half of the leads that you're buying right now aren't even getting worked. Um, yeah. So I'm, you're probably spending way too much on leads and, and way too much on marketing um, when we just reallocate that a little bit. Yeah, it's only a fraction. Like when you're $300 a month, you're paying 1000 a month in leads. Like, Because the agents, they just cherry pick because um, they get so busy. They have to work the leads. Then they have to go out and do the showings and do the open house and work the offers. So it's like, a constant teeter totter of like in office prospecting, following up and booking to showings, offers, contracts, and it's like a back and forth motion. So anybody who's got a good budget for online marketing, this looks amazing. Um, anybody who's thinking of getting their first assistant, I mean, for the most part, this assistant is what's going to help you with your highest and best use. And that's with uh, the lead generation. I mean, you got to make it rain to pay the bills and this looks wicked. Like really, really cool. I've seen, I used instant chat way back in the day when it was, um, oh man, 2000, 2008 ish when they first kind of hit the scene and they were so archaic and black and white and they converted really well. Like I had it going really good, um, worked amazing, but nothing like what this is showing. Yeah, it, it's come a long way and this has been, uh, you know, years in the making. We didn't just uh, think of this a few weeks ago and said, here we go. This has been years and, and millions of dollars and lots of research. And like I said, I've been working with real estate agents for the last decade. Uh, so seeing the struggles that they deal with on a daily basis and trying to help them alleviate all of those and really grow their business. Well, that was a really clean presentation. I like the designer who designed this slideshow, by the way, um, I want to put the link in the notes. So when anybody's watching this video or they go back in time to our group coaching program, um, a direct link is going to be there to the, to book a demo, but it's right there on the screen. Hello, Alex.io. Um, if nothing else, just book a demo to see if it is a fit for you. Uh, cause maybe you can ask more specific questions about your business and how you operate and then they'll be able to address if it's a good fit or not. So, Dave, Ben, I really, really appreciate you taking the time. I know I called you out of the blue, but um, with good reason, because I wanted to get this into more people's hands. No, absolutely. I, I appreciate your time. I look forward to uh, you being able to share this with everybody. Um, and I really think we can do a lot of great for a lot of agents. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how many of your, your crew that, that works with you um, become awesome agents. Cool, man. Okay, well, I'm going to end this recording. And Perfect. Okay. Uh, Dave, I don't know if you're still here. There is some questions. You are still here. So Dave, go ahead and unmute yourself. Um, there's a question that says, uh, is there a money back guarantee if it doesn't work? So um, I don't know about that. And then the other question is, do they get a Danny Wood discount? And that's their question, not me putting you on the spot. So I don't assume you're just going to make something out of thin air. But um, is there some sort of guarantee or is it month to month or what's that look like? Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, thanks for uh, letting me jump on the call live here. Thanks for watching the recording. Hopefully everybody is interested and wants a demo. Uh, happy to talk with everybody individually too. As far as the questions, is there a money back guarantee if it does not work out? The answer is no. 
Um, that would be asking Facebook for a refund if the ads that you put out there didn't work or the gym a refund if you didn't lose weight by going to it. We will provide you a service that works. We have tons of clients in it that use it and make it work now. If it doesn't work, it's not going to be our fault, I promise. Um, as far as a Danny Wood discount, Danny and I uh, just started speaking about this and we're actually thinking about doing something uh, even better. Uh, we have the specific marketing campaigns that we're building out. Uh, we're actually talking, uh, I was talking with Danny about actually creating specific Danny Wood marketing campaigns only. And the only people in our platform that would have access to be able to use those would be Danny Wood client discount, uh, the, the Danny Wood clients. Um, and so rather than a discount, we would rather have you make more money. So instead of you saving 25 bucks or 50 bucks or something like that, how about we get you another listing or another closing? And so that looks like the only two questions that came in. Yeah. And, um, okay. So anybody who does sign up as like a guinea pig, then, um, I'll work with you and behind the scenes and we'll, we'll put something together for them. Yeah, no, happy to do that. We've done that with, uh, some other coaches out there and it, it's had great success and it would be an exclusive to, uh, anybody that's working with you. The only people that have access to it. Cool. Okay. So that doesn't exist yet. Once somebody signs up, just let either one of us know. And then uh, we'll kind of like treat it as a guinea pig scenario and we'll uh, create our magic. Yeah, awesome. So, cool, man. Okay, so hey, thanks for hanging out. Um, normally people will just like book a demo with you after the call and stuff. So I'm going to move on to the next one. But if there are any other questions after the video is playing, I'll forward them to you if you're not here still, okay? Perfect, sounds good. Hey, thanks for everything, okay? Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to play the next one. Just let me check something. And uh, Adrian is here. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to hit play on this next session. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be going over a brand new product called My Planet. I've invited Adrian Mizell. She's going to be sharing with us what it's all about. They're either the only or one of the very, very few companies that have received a five-star review from Inman, and they're also part of the Inman Innovator Awards. So I really appreciate you being with us and uh, sharing what you and your company and how you guys help real estate agents. So thank you, and we can see your screen, so go ahead and take it away. Awesome. Thank you, Dan, for having me. We're honored to be part of your, your program here. Um, cool. so My Planet is a mobile application and right now we're on the iPhone platform, and it is like your personal assistant. It remembers your past, it makes you smarter in the present, and it helps plan your future. So it's using the device sensors on your phone to capture where you're going and automatically recording your showings and your opens. And then it's intelligently connecting the data and the functionality from the various siloed applications you use today your contacts, your calendar, your photos, the places you went and will go, your MLS data. And it brings it all together in one place so that you have a single window to manage your business, at least as it pertains to what you're doing when you're out and about. So it's like your personal assistant in your office away from your office. And it is 100% private application so only you see your data it is not a social network this is your personal system it's your office so the problem that we're you know we've been trying to solve is that uh time is money right time there's two things that agents are interested in it's, it's leads and being more organized and more time so that you can chase those revenue driving uh activities those revenue driving tasks so the average agent can only spend 11% of their time with clients because the overwhelming percent of their time, they're burdened by non-core administrative tasks. And I heard this quote as it pertains to real estate, a bad agent needs more leads, but a great agent needs more time. And as I did my um, diligence in, in real estate, I, I spoke to somebody who's a manager of a boutique firm, and he said the best agents are not at their desks, they're out in the field. And we reviewed over a hundred other technology companies in real estate, and none of them are tracking and supporting agents' activities when they're out in the field. There's no mobile field technology for them. Hmm. So Dan, what 
think agents are using when they're out in the field to track. They took this client to this home, that client to that home, this one liked the kitchen, that one hated the bathroom, this one's son's birthday is blah, 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 because referrals are so important. What do you think that they're using? Uh, most of them use the back of the MLS sheets. They print off the listings. They got five listings and they'll just drop them on the back of one of them or maybe a journal or some of them use their phone. Exactly right. They're using pen and paper. There are agents, they're using notebooks, they're using day planners, they're printing out MLS sheets they're sc that are scattered in various folders. All of this data is dead data. It is not functional. I can't click on that address, get directions, click on a phone number in order to call my client or call that listing agent, right? It is not searchable. And it's almost impossible for the brain to synthesize from one page to the next. My information about a client is on this page. I have to flip a few more pages. There's information for the client on that page. There are agents who take their notebooks back to the office and they retype their notes into Microsoft Word or Excel, so at least it is searchable, right? Because here it's not searchable. Mm. And they're the smart ones because the agent who sent me the photo on the right took her five days to get me the photo because she lost her notebook. That data is not backed up in the cloud. And so I say to brokers and agents, do you know how much money you're losing on each piece of paper? Never mind the sticky note, right? That fell between the car seats. Yeah. Now, agents are using digital tools, but the tools are not connected. They don't talk to each other. So they have to open up each one separately, find what they're looking for, or record some data in it and close it, open another app, and you know maybe paste it or copy it. None of these apps talk to each other. They don't work together. So the result is that none of these apps have a holistic view of the agent's business. Right? They don't understand the agent in, in whole, in context. And one of the biggest frustrations from a technology perspective for agents is the lack of integrated and unified systems in the industry. So there are over 250 outsourced tech products and tools, but again, they don't work together. And in today's market with aggregators like Zillow, um, inundating customers, consumers with information, agents need to be able to provide timely, relevant data to their clients. So the technologies they need should be focused on saving them time. And that's where my planet comes in. So what I'd like to do now is instead of going through these slides is um, flip to a video and cool. play that because it'll show you my planet in action because we have a really awesome interface. And we, yes, like in, in February, if people are in Inman, uh, we were reviewed by Inman News and we got their first ever five-star technology review. And, the reviewer was, was great, and he commented on how awesome our user interface is. So I'd like for you to see it. So I'm going to turn up my volume to make sure you can hear this, and I'm going to just start playing. Sure. Welcome to My Planet. We make real estate personal. My Planet does three things for agents. It remembers your past, makes you smarter in the present, and helps plan your future. Now, before we get started, we all know great agents are not at their desk. They're in the field. So what do you think they use to manage or remember their opens and showings? Where they took which client? This one liked the bedroom. That one hated the kitchen. A notebook. Day plan. All this valuable data on paper is dead data. It's not searchable, not functional, and almost impossible for our brains to synthesize from one page to the next. So now let's talk about how it first remembers your past. Make the notebook and enter your journey screen. Here, we automatically capture everything related to your field activity. You just need to be in a location, a home, or a venue for five minutes, or take a photo as you walk by, and we'll record where you were, when you arrived, and when you left. Now, one of the biggest problems with technology and real estate is the lack of integration. So my planet sinks in and interconnects the data from all your various siloed apps, your places, your contacts, your calendar, your photos, videos, and notes. And all of this is automatically connected to MLS data. Now, my planet is also a patented data platform with unlimited extensibility. So over time, we'll also connect data from sources like your CRM, public records, and anything else that is important to you. 
We design my planet to make it as automated as possible. We like to say easy peasy, lemon squeezy, because our technology was built to do 90% of the heavy lifting for you. For example, changes made on my planet will sync back to your other applications and vice versa. Add a calendar entry on your phone, my planet will grab it automatically. Make a change to a person in my planet, we'll sync it back to your contact app. It's minimal touch technology designed to eliminate your administrative burden. Now, my planet doesn't stop at connecting data. We also bring it to life by interconnecting functionality. So from a single screen, you can get directions to a home and call, text, and email your client or listing agent. And you can share your notes, photos, and listing data from one place. No more jumping from app to app. For the first time, everything you need is centralized to maximize your productivity. Now, second, my planet makes you smarter in the present. Connecting data makes it intelligent. And my planet connects data like our brains do. So it synthesizes your information for you. We built the world's first visual search of your life, where all your data is searchable based on how your brain works, based on time and location context. So from a single screen, you can see all the homes you've shown a specific client, say Adam, or all the homes you've shown him in a specific area. Or all the homes you've shown him last week, last month, or last year. Or all the homes with kitchens that he likes. There was a survey done where they asked home purchasers five years after they bought a house whether they were happy with their home. Yes. Were you happy with your agent? Yes. What's your agent's name? Um, I don't remember. But the first business level of real estate is about generating leads. Then the next one is about generating referrals. Now, with my planet, all your information about each client is forever recorded organized, centralized, stored, and readily accessible so that when you reach out to your clients, you remember who they are, what you did with them, and their preferences. Now go to places and you can see by property every client you took to that home. My planet cost indexes everything so you forget nothing. In tags, my planet keeps track of everything that is important to you, whether it's lists of places like schools or nearby supermarkets or people like attorneys and mortgage brokers and all of it is searchable by time, location and words. With my planet, all your information is at your fingertips and you get to prove that you're the neighborhood expert. So with a single tap, you can show your clients all the homes you sold in the area they're looking. Now, on the listing screen, you can see all available properties that match your client's preferences. Like elsewhere in the app, you can search these match listings by location, time, maybe you want to see homes that have been on the market for three months or more, and words. And you can also see homes nearby where you are right now. And third, my planet helps plan your future. The client summary screen shows you next step with each client, whether it's an upcoming showing, a new listing, or an unread chat. It also reminds you the last thing you did with them. Now, our upcoming in-app chat is not just text messaging. It's actionable communication. Directly share a listing, and with a single tap, clients can ask to schedule it or say meh. Now, this chat will be available when the optional client companion app is released. We believe in helping you deliver exceptional service to your clients so you can close leads and drive referrals. Now, this is big. We've pulled everything together for easy access in a notification center called MyHub. MyHub gives you the information and tools you need to provide immediate value to your clients. So see your upcoming calendar appointments, get directions to them, and communicate with the attendees. See your latest chat and get immediately notified of new homes just on the market that match your clients' preferences. My planet then aggregates all match clients to that property. Tap on a new listing and you can communicate with the listing agent and each client. One client isn't interested, swipe to dismiss. Another is one tap to open a calendar appointment and we pre-fill all the information. You just set the time and send. 
And this takes us back to your journey. Wake up and see today's appointment on a map with MLS data connected. And of course, you can get directions from one to the next without ever leaving the app. Like the best personal assistant, my planet knows you and thinks like you. And as a result, it minimizes your administrative time, streamlines your relationships, and improves your bottom line. We make real estate personal. Yeah, that's awesome. I, a lot of people who are active on the road, like really busy people. I know when we were doing 180 ends type of thing, some of the people, it was just like nonstop on the road, showings after showings. And like literally their heads were spinning in the field. They didn't have a real centralized place to make notes on the go. Um, I like the fact that the people, as they're looking at properties, um, I kind of caught the drift that it would actually automatically update right in their app. Like, price reductions and sold statuses and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. We're the only app that takes your calendar and you can see here, this is, we've made some changes to this, my hub section, which um, shows you, you know, it's like your, what you need to do next when and it gives you the information and the tools right at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. But um, so I'll, I'll just want to show you some of the changes, but yeah, we uh, are the only app that takes calendar and then put MLS data in it. So here we always will show you on the top what's your very next appointment. And so there's that showing for tomorrow. So, you know, you could see it at night or if you wake up in the morning, it'll then say today and you can get directions to it. You can see, you can see the home as you're driving up. That's the one, right? It's in your calendar. Um, you will call it, you can tap it, you can call the listing agent, text them, hey, I've been running late, whatever it is, right? Or your client, right? We bring you the information and like an assistant will remind you, your next, you know, this is your next appointment. And by the way, this is the last thing that you did with them, right? Um, and if you tap show more, say it's you wake up at six in the morning and you want to review your day, bam, here's your calendar. And, oh, this home that you were going to at 3.30 just went under contract. Let me call my client. Let me rearrange. Yeah, I like how it loads them right on there. That's cool. I really like how it puts that little badge and it loads them. I also like how it automatically pulls in the listing agent's info so you can, like, communicate with them or communicate with the client. And it looked like it took screenshots. I got the gist of it. It looked like it took a screenshot of the entire information so that say you're with a client and they like something about it, you could take a screenshot and then send it to them to forward to his or her spouse type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you had um, a moment and I'll show you that in a second, but sure. uh, it, will, it you can share and it makes a little JPEG, a little picture with the MLS data, the, you know, top photo, the MLS data, your notes, when you saw it, the address, and you can email it, you can text it straight out so that whoever, whomever you're, you're communicating with, whether it's a team or a spouse, they get it real time and they can follow you along your path as you're going. Did it automatically pull up local schools and put it right in the app? That it doesn't, um, although that's something that we can build out in the future. Right now, an agent would just have to simply like tag the school so they have them all on the map or keep them through the supermarkets um, because we have venue data coming in also from a venue provider. Right. Okay. Okay, cool. And they just need to tag it, which is really, really easy to do in the app. And so we built uh, also hot sheets. Um, and our hot sheets are not just MLS data. So we have one that's automatic, which is client listings, and it shows you price decreases, new listings, status changes that match all of your different clients. Here I, I just have me, I guess, as a client. And then you can build a hot sheet for your market. So this is a, actually the Pittsburgh market, Allegheny East. And it will show you price decreases, new listings, and if something in your market matches your client, then we will let you know, hey, this new listing also matches this client. Or if you have five clients it matches, we'll show you all five. And you can tap on that. That 
you know what? If I when I was an active agent, I'd much rather be scrolling up and down this than like a news feed or Instagram or just like wasting time. You know what I mean? If you're at an open house, just scrolling through the new listings and it automatically like points out, oh, this guy has interest in this type of property. Then I'd be like, oh man, I should just give him a call, let him know. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a, kind of a and nudge then, in your direction. And then when you're out and about with your client, instead of bringing the MLS print out, which has one photo, right? You have all the information here, right? Mm-hmm. And you have all the photos too. You can see all the photos when you go back with it to the cafe or whatever you're doing with your client and you want to review it. This is that house, right? And then we've also brought in comps. So, and you can change the filters on them with also list to sold price right there. So the minus 3.2 is how much it sold for versus the list price. So you have all of that data now at your fingertips. Oh man. Even like when you're doing your own open house, how I, I, I did an open house. I've done a couple open houses in the past where I, I didn't necessarily pull up all the research that I should have because it wasn't my listing. I was just doing an open house and I could tell that the neighbors were more educated than I was <laughs> on the local stats. So like this would really help the person out. Yeah. And that's what it's about. The value, one of the values you bring as an agent, right, is being informed, is being that neighborhood expert, is knowing your product, knowing your market, knowing the inventory. And that's what My Planet does. And it does it all in one app. So that way you don't have to jump from app to app to app to manage this information and manage that, those functionality. Like, why do I have to go to a map to get directions and then go to a phone app to call, right? Yeah. Yeah. Make it easy. Make it easy so I can focus on what I need to focus, which is closing the deal. Right? So my, my example of being ill-prepared wasn't common. Like normally I open house to me, it was like a full week event, marketing event. I did door knocking, direct mail, cold calling, uh, print ads, internet ads. Like I did all of it. But sometimes you just like do the open house because it's just like you got to get it done. And um, there's times where I wasn't prepared with, the knowledge, even when I went door knocking. So door knocking, this would be an awesome tool in your pocket. If uh, yeah. door knocking a particular area, you just instantly pull up all the all the stats on everything in the local area. Now, um, this is board dependent, so this would be a good point to bring this up. So agents can buy in on an individual agent access, but for the most part, it's like a broker owner would buy into it, and then their agents would sign up, however they pay. But it depends on the local board. So um, mostly you guys are focused on the states uh, with hopes to enter Canada. So any real estate brokerages that are listening to this or any agents who have interest, reach out to your broker owner to, I don't know, maybe set up a demo to go a little more deeper on it. But it's more of like a broker owner approach where they're like, okay, we're going to open up the door for all of our agents to have access to this. I mean, the agents can still individually pay, but the broker owner would have to essentially sign up at the beginning? Yeah, because we need to get the MLS data in. So we need the buy-in from a broker to do that. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, and then we can figure out, you know, however the, the broker wants to work as far as pricing, you know, the, who, who pays what, that, that I leave to the broker and their agent. But yeah, we, we need that um, so that we can get this MLS data connected to their calendar, to their people, to their CRM. So it's all, all in one place. What's it look like when you take a screenshot to, can you just show a couple of the features of? Um... Yeah. So I'll show one thing. So when you, when you open up the app, it comes into this section here, the, the My Hub in the middle of my little video recorder is over it. So it yeah. opens up right to everything you need. And the current moment is like where you are right now. So I'm in New York and our MLS data right now is for our first client, which is in Pittsburgh. So it, it, this wouldn't, this is not populating. Um, but if I was actually at a home in the Pittsburgh West Pennant area um, and I was there for five minutes or more, we would automatically record. You got here at 906, you left 932. And we bring in that MLS data with the photo, with the status, for sale, three bedrooms, three baths, the price, right? So when you come in, it has the current moment, has all that information. And all you need to do, you want to make notes about that property, boom, just slide it over. And then you can add your note, you can type it, or if you don't want to fuss around with your phone, you can tell your clients, I'm taking notes because you're a rock star agent. You want to remember everything they say, what they like, what they don't like. And then you can just hit the record button. Large master bedroom, period. Lots of sunlight, period. 
small backyard, period. Save, and that's it, you are done. And now your notes are recorded and it is, we index every word that is spoken so it becomes searchable. And if you wanted to tag your client to it, you could, you could um, just sit here and you can tag your client, boom. We bring in the clients, we bring in your contacts, so it's automatically tagged. And now you have your clients, your notes, and if you go to your client's listing, so your client screen, so I'm gonna use me because I set up my filters, and you tap on that. On one side, it's listings, and you can see all the listings that match this client. You can thumbs up listings. What's that do? And it allows you to see, if you tap here, all the listings that they liked. Mm. Okay, and, cool. and if you don't like a listing, if it's yeah. not for them and you want to get rid of it, let me tap this. And if you want to get rid of it, you can, and it goes away. Yeah. And it goes away. And if you wanted to see, let's say that there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of inventory. And so something that they said, no, I don't want to ever see it, right? How many times has that happened? And they're like, all right, let's go back. You didn't throw out the, the MLS print out this time, right? Because it's digital. It's here. You can go back and say, okay, this one, we're going to go see it. Or maybe they liked it, right? It's always there. All your information is there. I dig it. I really like the functionality of when you're at the open house, when you're at the property and it pulls up like the recent activity right on the spot. Yeah. That's cool. Because sometimes and, agent prints it all out the night before. Like they get all, they got like three sets of showings. So they print off three stacks of paper. A lot of people still do the paper. However they do it, they usually do it the night before. And this, this would update the day of. We're working while you're sleeping. We're bringing in that data. So that way in the morning, you can see what is going on. You don't need that paper anymore. And I know people are used to their paper and they're comfortable with their paper. But now what do you, you're carrying around a big folder of paper of everything, every place your clients have ever been to. Why? You can just have it all on your phone with all your notes, all searchable, right? Forever, right? So that you can always remember, this is everything I've done with this client. And just to show you that, um, that uh, little picture of what you, you know, if you wanted to send something to your client. So here, I didn't make a note, but let's say I wanted to make a note. So I'll just say something else. Home needs renovation, period. Small backyard, period. Done. Save. Done. And now I want to share it. Tap mm -hmm. the three little dots. I don't think I tapped it. The little circle when you see it is my uh, finger. Yep. And then I hit the share button and boom, we make this JPEG. And if you wanted to take, let's say the client off, you can take it off. Right. And I can share now. I can add it to an email. Oh, so right, whatever the phone that you're using, all the apps that open up, you can do a text message. Yep, and there it is. You know, cool. So again, we have done everything that we can to make it as few clicks as possible for the agent so that they can focus on what they want to focus on, right? What they need to focus on. So really, you know, it's, it's like, we call it, that's why I said in the video, it's minimal touch technology. You know, it's uh, the, really the things you'd have to do is add a note or, and tag a person. If you don't have, if you have, if you've invited your client via your calendar, then you don't even need to add them because we'll show it right there. Um, well, cause you can see here and, um, but if not, it's three steps. It's tap to open, tap to speak, tap to save, or tap to open, tap to add your client, tap to save. Mm. Yeah. You don't just do it on the go. Not that you should be driving and doing it, but people that are, like I say, at open houses or in between appointments or killing time at the bank, um, in a lineup somewhere, they could easily do a bunch of uh, forward thinking. Th this gives the agent a uh, reason to uh, 
reconnect with people. There's a lot of people that have buyer leads set up on a prospect match, but they haven't talked to them in a while. Yeah. Uh, so even just like the price reductions, even if you just call a person to say, hey, you know, it's a price reduction, it, it just creates a conversation. You know what I mean? They, they're not probably going to buy that house that you called them on anyways, but it, it, they don't hear your voice enough. Yeah, I mean, you know, automatic, you know, drip campaigns where they're just getting the emails and you're not connecting with them. I actually have a friend who's an agent and she was closing, they were at the closing, um, she and a client and the client got a phone call and she could tell it was his prior agent. And uh, he said, well, actually I'm at a closing. And he could, she could kind of hear what the agent was or surmise what the agent was saying. And you're like, which, which home and which property? And so he tells him, and the guy says, well, I sent that to you. And the client said, yeah, it came in an email, but you never touched base with me. You never found out what do I really want? What am I interested in? He didn't give that tactile, that touch point, that touch reference with the client and he lost the client. Mm -hmm. And my friend, very hands-on. So she was there communicating, saying, you know, here, how about this home? I think you would like this home. Have you thought about this? And he went with her. And she knew who he was. What's the best? So we'll end this recording. Um, what's the best way for a person to reach out to you? If, uh, so from a brokerage level, they're like, yeah, let's take a look at this. How does the, what's the best way for them to reach out? Just go to your website, fill in a form, call you direct. What's the? So, so our name is My Planet, M-Y-P-L-A-N-I-T. You can see it there. Um, you can just, they can go to our website. There's a contact form or they can email us at info at myplanet.com. Cool. And if you go to myplanet.com, the video that I showed is on the website. So if an agent wants to show their broker, just go to myplanet.com. Perfect. Now, I don't know if you guys could hear, um, there's a bunch of static feedback in that episode. And uh, so I spent a couple hours after that recording on tech support. Um, I think I cleared it up. So anyways, future videos, we should not hear that annoying noise. That was totally on my end, not on her end. Now, there was a question. Oh, it's not a question. David just said where you can book a demo. Perfect. Were there any questions on this platform? And let me make sure Adrienne is here. She was earlier. Adrienne, you can unmute yourself if you can. Hello. Hi. How are you? So, perfect. Thank you for joining. Um, I don't see any questions just yet, but I have a question for you that I probably should have asked. I think I heard that it was only Apple, but is that only Apple or can Android users get on this or what? We don't have Android yet, but it's in the works. So we absolutely will be on the Android platform in the future. Okay, cool. And then something we didn't really cover in this um, screen share that we did, but in the future is... Um, a client version where the clients have their own app and it integrates with the agents app. Can you kind of like future tell what that's about? Yeah. And there was, um, we gave a nod to it, showed a screen um, in the video of it where there, there's a seamless collaboration with the client. So we'll build in text messaging. And if, you know, if, if an agent doesn't want to give um, an app to their client or if a client doesn't want to add another app, then we'll still be able to have text messages from that client come into my planet. However, if the client downloads the app, um, and then the agent can have that, what I called actionable chat, where they can actually share listings, where it comes in with a photo and all the information. The client can tap to say no, or the client can tap to say, yes, schedule this with me. You schedule this for me. And then as the client is going around seeing all the homes, they too are getting a log, a journal of every home they saw with their notes. They can share notes to their spouse if they're the only one going, or if they see a home without the agent, they can share share notes about that home to the agent or, you know, so, so it's seamless collaboration. And then the client also is getting this rich log of information. And then in the future, let's say the client asks for, Hey, can you give me a list of attorneys or a list of mortgage brokers? If the agent has that in their, my planet, they can just send them click. They, they, they click their, their, what you saw the tags list. They can click their list of mortgage brokers, send them three at a time 
the age, the uh, client then gets into their, their companion app, they get that list of mortgage brokers. It's not a dead email, an email with dead text, right? With where they have to recopy all the names. It's actually like live functional information. They can call that mortgage broker. They can email that mortgage broker. They can text that mortgage broker. So really, oh, you, know what? you could even position that as an agent to sponsor, to have like the mortgage person sponsor like uh, 10 bucks a month or whatever. I don't know what the number is. Anyways, say you had three, three mortgage people, they each pay 10 bucks a month. Um, three lawyers, they each pay 10 bucks a month. Um, and now you got the app totally free. Yeah. Yeah, you could totally internally sponsor it. Um, it's a great idea. What, what is the pricing from an agent standpoint? From an agent standpoint, it's twenty four ninety nine a month. Okay. And then um, on the brokerage standpoint, uh, it's all about them connecting with the local board. So that's like a case by case basis. Some boards are different than others. So. By case basis, yes. And if the brokerage would do an enterprise license, then we could offer them um, where they're paying it and not passing it on to the agent. We could do yeah. volume pricing. So. Cool, cool. All right. I don't, uh, if there's no other questions, if anybody has a question after we end this recording, uh, just email me, message me somehow, and I'll make sure to, to connect the two of you. But um, thank you for that. Oh, the feedback. I hear the feedback again. I think it might be um, coming from your end, actually, because it, it only comes on when I was uh, when I'm on live with you. Okay. Thank so you. if you end if you end up planning on doing more webinars in the future, um, message me and I'll share with you a couple good options for affordable mics. Yeah, um, thank you. I just cool. got a new camera the other yesterday, literally. So um, I may be returning it to, to Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Well, hey, thank you for connecting, everybody. We'll end this because we're 11 minutes past. Our next webinar is going to be part three of this, and it'll be the wrap. So we're going to finish with uh, one more version of part three. And then after that, it's not going to be product pitches or anything to you guys. Um, the next session after that, I'm hoping is going to be an actual live hands-on LinkedIn with somebody who actually knows how to generate leads from that platform. Because we all kind of think it's a joke. Um, we all have a, our account, but we don't do anything with it. Uh, we're going to learn and share how to actually be proactive with LinkedIn. So those are all future episodes. Appreciate you all. I want to hang up now and uh, I'll email everybody the recording of this. So thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Hey, if you want to close more real estate transactions, get more buyer leads and get more seller leads, click this button right here. It'll take you to our real estate group coaching page. Also, if you like this video and want more, you can subscribe by pressing this, or you can check out some of my past videos here. Enjoy!